Although she was making waves as an internet sensation, many of us were first introduced to Cardi B during season 6 of Love & Hip Hop New York. The dancer turned rapper already made a few physical adjustments prior to appearing on reality TV. And through the years, she has completely transformed her appearance from head to toe. Unlike other celebrities, Cardi is open and honest about the work she's undergone and the complications she's faced during her plastic surgery journey. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at how she got a bag and fixed her teeth, wagon, chest puppies, stomach, thighs, and the list goes on and on and on. But people be like, oh my gosh, Cardi, I miss your teeth, I miss your old teeth. You and my teeth were not fucking friends. What is you talking about? Like, like you are like, you are like you personally knew my teeth. Like, you act like you've been in my mouth before. Like, what is you saying? But before we get into other people's booties, <clears throat> <laughs> Oops, I mean other people's business. Don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of green apple licorice, lemon pepper beef jerky, and buffalo ranch popcorn. Growing up in the Bronx, Cardi said every single girl was built like a brick house, except for her. She was naturally slim and wasn't working with much up top or in the back, which led to the boys teasing her about her body. Cardi said the comments made her feel ugly and underdeveloped. It wasn't just her body that she was ridiculed about. The Trini and Dominican rapper told Interview Magazine that a lot of Dominicans have, quote, soft, pretty, curly hair. And because Cardi didn't know how to take care of her hair, she didn't always look her best. She started dyeing her hair, which caused it to be dry and brittle, and people would always tell her that her hair was too crunchy. The guys she grew up with would ask her questions like, if you're Dominican, why is your hair so nappy? So there was a lot that young Cardi went through during her younger years, and a lot of those incidents took a toll on her self-esteem. When she started dancing in strip clubs, she was able to save up enough money to make all the changes that would shut everyone up and stop the men in their tracks. At the age of 18, she got her tatas enhanced, and she was satisfied. Mm, for a little bit. Eventually, her focus shifted to her badonka dunk, or lack thereof. At the age of 20, she started working at an urban strip club where many of the dancers were stacked. She noticed she wasn't making as much money as the other women who had bigger behinds. I had the tips, I had the bomb ass tattoos, I could do crazy pole tricks, but I was missing some ass. When you come from nationalities that like they praise thick girls, that they praise ass, they praise thighs, they praise all of that. Like it's hard to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna walk around my flat ass. No, some of y'all happy with it, and that's great, but that just wasn't me when I was young. So I did what I did. It didn't help that her then boyfriend cheated on her with a woman that had a plump fatty. So eventually, Cardi decided that getting a new peach would make her feel more confident and help her earn more money. She didn't have enough fat on her body to undergo a fat transfer, so she paid a woman in Queens named Donna Francis $800 for illegal silicone injections in her butt and thighs. Cardi said she became extremely nauseous during the procedure and had difficulty breathing. She told GQ magazine, They don't numb your anything. It was the craziest pain ever. I felt like I was going to pass out. I felt a little dizzy and it leaks for like five days. Cardi was blessed to make it out of there alive. Those of you who watched our K. Michelle video know that Donna spent a year behind bars after one of her patients was found deceased in the basement after getting illegal injections. And Donna isn't the only person that has administered illegal injections and put unsuspecting lives at risk. A South Florida woman named O'Neill Ron Morris was convicted of injecting patients with a mixture of cement, mineral oil, and fix-a-flat. She allegedly sealed the injections with super glue and cotton balls. O'Neill served one year behind bars. Upon her release, she went right back to injecting people with harmful materials, which led to the death of a 31-year-old woman named Shatarka Newby. O'Neill pleaded guilty to manslaughter and, as of this video, she's serving a 10-year sentence. These are just a couple of the countless stories that have flooded headlines. 
you would think that by this point, people would steer clear of black market injections due to the well-known complications and side effects, but that's not the case. Things usually start out the same for most people. They enjoy their results at first. Cardi told Interview Magazine she felt super confident and vindicated with her new juicy bottom. Cardi left Love & Hip Hop after season seven, and her new music career kept her extremely busy. She was performing all across the globe, spending long nights in the studio and collaborating with other artists. She gave birth to her daughter Culture in 2018, and during an Instagram Live session, she said she was considering liposuction to get rid of the love handles on her post-baby body. Sadly, celebrities are under pressure to snap back immediately after having a child, which sets unrealistic and unsafe expectations for how a woman is supposed to look after giving birth. A doctor speaking about Cardi's desire to have a post-baby procedure told the New York Post, Give yourself time. It takes nine months to make the baby. Practice gratitude for what your body was able to do. But Cardi wasn't trying to hear all that. She told her fans she knew she could work out to shrink her stomach, but she was too busy and didn't have time to go to the gym. And plus, she needed her body to look snatched so she could get back on stage and make that shmoney. In 2019, she was moonwalking through another surgeon's office and received a breast augmentation. And then she made a second trip to a plastic surgeon's office to get liposuction. After surgery, patients are told to take off for a few weeks to allow the body to heal. But Cardi reportedly went back to work by hitting the stage at several events, including Rolling Loud in Miami and a Fashion Nova party. During a May 2019 concert in Memphis, she told the crowd she should have canceled her appearance because moving around too much on stage was going to mess up her lipo. However, she proceeded to put on an amazing show as usual. Two weeks later, she had to pull the plug on her scheduled Memorial Day weekend performance in Maryland. Sources close to the rapper told TMZ that Cardi's doctors told her she needed to sit down somewhere to allow the swelling from her recent surgeries to go down. Cardi even shared a picture of her swollen feet to show the negative side effects of her liposuction procedure. She added that her stomach was even more swollen than her feet, and every time her body swelled up, she could feel a burning sensation. The following month, she tweeted to her fans that she was in the gym working out because she was determined to never get surgery again. But that didn't mean she was going to stop fiddling with her body. She always hated her nose and was determined to make it smaller. After scrolling on Instagram, she came across non-invasive nose jobs with the use of fillers. So she decided to give it a try in 2019. Unfortunately, the fillers made her nose longer and wider. Cardi was freaking out and going brazy. She knew she had to get it corrected, and thankfully, during an event at Kris Jenner's house, Kim Kardashian gave Cardi some doctor recommendations. Cardi finally underwent a rhinoplasty procedure in 2020. In June 2021, she announced that she and her husband Offset were expecting baby number two. Weeks ahead of her due date, she hopped on Instagram Live and told her followers, I'm ready to give birth. I'm ready, I'm ready. And I'm ready to get some surgery too. Y'all know I love me some surgery. I hate that I gotta sit down and wait like six months to get surgery. I want some surgery. Oh my gosh. They welcomed their son Wave in September 2021. A month later, Cardi was in Paris for Fashion Week and she looked a bit different. Many of her followers were convinced she had chopped and screwed her lower half once again. However, Cardi confirmed that she hadn't and that she was being more patient with her body this time around. After a three-year hiatus from the surgery table, Cardi was itching to get more work done. In a June 2022 Instagram story, she said she was tired of the extra loose skin on her stomach and she wanted to get rid of it by getting a tummy tuck. Fans were not pleased with her decision, especially since she barely had a tiny roll on her stomach. One fan wrote, Somebody please stop Cardi B from getting any more surgery. She later told Jason Lee that she was going to do whatever she wanted to her body because she liked looking perfect. Two months later, she underwent another procedure, but she didn't get the tummy tuck she desired. After gaining 20 pounds during her second pregnancy, her butt got naturally bigger. Her natural curves on top of her illegal injections meant that her thang was banging out of control. So she underwent a procedure to have 95% of her illegal butt injections removed. 
As of January 2023, Cardi says she's done with plastic surgery because she thinks she looks great. Do you think all of Cardi's surgeries were money well spent? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.